There's a simple formula for finding the slope and then finding the y-intercept of the least squares regression line. You'll be provided these formulas on the AP exam. We will need five statistics to calculate the LSR line, the mean and standard deviation of x, the mean and standard deviation of y, and the correlation coefficient r. Here's the slope formula. r can be positive or negative, allowing either positive or negative slopes, and it's multiplied by the change in y over the change in x. That's what standard deviation of y over standard deviation of x really is. It reminds us of Algebra 1. The y-intercept is found with this formula, so let's look at a problem and then explain why the formulas make sense. Megan is a junior in college, and she's been working in the restaurant industry during college to help pay for expenses. This year, she's waiting tables Fridays and Saturdays at one of the finest restaurants in town. Using her total earnings from her first six nights of work, she's wanted to find the least squares regression line to predict earnings for future shifts. Here's a table of her shifts, including hours worked and total earnings, and here's the statistics from the six shifts. Determine the least squares regression line for predicting earnings from hours worked. Keep in mind that the variable to be predicted is always the response variable y. She wants to predict earnings, thus earnings per shift is y, which is dependent on x, the number of hours worked. Slope is the r value times the standard deviation of y over x, so this is our slope. Y-intercept is found to be negative $8.81, hence the least squares regression line is predicted y, is equal to negative 8.81 plus 66.05x. Once again, we see a y-intercept that doesn't make sense in the context. She would not owe $8.81 at the beginning of her shift. Recall that this is due to random chance fluctuation. The slope is what she's after, and she's now found that $66 per hour is a good approximation or a reasonable approximation at this point. In practicing how to interpret slope in the way AP prefers, we should say that for every additional unit increase in x, y increases by the slope. So in this case, for every additional hour of work for Megan, she expects to earn $66.